So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And today guys, I bring you an incredible build which actually does break the game. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we know there's a lot of build videos out there where they say it's a one hit build. It kills every boss in a game. It's broken. It's going to break the game. This, that and the other. This one guys actually will break the game. I can guarantee you this will not be in the game for much longer. It's based off a glitch that was not long uploaded by a guy called Caspers. His video was sent to me on my Discord. It was recommended to me that I make a build surrounding it. So that's exactly what I've done. But it is uh, based on a glitch, a method he uploaded first. So credit to that guy. You'll find his channel linked down below. So it consists of a couple of items. A weapon, such as a spear, which you can apply the incantation of Blood Flame Blade to it. As well as the other incantation of Fire's Deadly Sin. Now what Fire's Deadly Sin does is, guys, let's just quickly sit down. I want to actually like basically guide you through exactly what's going on here so you get what, what's happening and you can probably find a way to even make it better for yourselves. Sets area ablaze with raging flames. Now if I apply this to myself as you look, look let me just do it here. So I'm going to set myself ablaze. There we go. Now if I run up to this guy, you'll see that it does not bad damage. I mean it's taking its damage off. Obviously it's a lower level enemy, it ain't going to be exactly the same with higher level enemies. But it gets better guys, it gets absolutely better because if we have a pike such as or a spear such as, this is my favourite one um, and what I will say is guys everything here that I've covered already you'll find linked in the video description via a guide to get said item so if there's something here you're missing you'll find a video right there, simple as that people. Uh, but yes so we've got a pike, now if I apply the blood flame blade to said pike just like so, actually let me sit down first to reset the enemy stand back up so if i apply this guys and i run up to the same enemy nothing happens you'll see he will just literally kill me now if i now apply the combo of both of them together watch this watch this and just reply that watch yourself he will get a massive build up of damage just evaporate from his health bar and that actually scales up guys with bosses now it won't one hit them like that but it does serious serious damage as you saw by a couple of clips at the start of the video it's absolutely ridiculous so I've built up a guide well I build around said thing now the way this works with you not taking damage is is getting this shield right here the fingerprint stone shield absolutely brutal I've put on the barricade shield Asher War on this as well which just is a must it makes it even better guys but hey, so if I'm using this and I've got that shield out and I'm blocking, there's literally no one, nothing that can touch me. Obviously, it's physical damage. Poison and that will probably still get you from bosses and enemies. But physical damage, you can't get hit. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I'll showcase it to you down here and all these ads in a quick second. Furthermore, I have to explain what's going on here. So based on this, uh, the shield, the pike, which is great for when you're blocking because you can always use the pike. And block at the same time that's the main reason we're using these spears absolutely amazing but hey you don't have to do that you can stand there and just block and still do damage pikes there for just extra damage guys extra damage output but what we're also using to buff this is flame grant me strength this gives you more fire attack power amazing so we have that we also guys within our flask we are using where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Here's my flask. We are using the flame shredding a cracked here. Temporary boost fire attacks. Great. We're also using a crimson burst crystal tear. Steadily restores HP for a time. The reason we're using that is guys is because when we pop this, as you'll see here, your health will steadily drop. Now if we pop the flask, you'll notice it, it counters that and it restores our health on the spot. So that's, that's the main reason that's it. So yeah, I've, I've tried to think of everything, guys. I've tried to think of everything. Um, in regards to uh, armor, I don't think there's anything here that buffs. Um, I mean, you probably want to go with faith for the increased fire damage. I've got a faith mask here somewhere. Uh, it's that one there, which I do normally have on. I don't know why it went on here, but either way, anything, anything that buffs faith is great. 
Uh, other armor pieces, I mean, you go with what you want. I mean, you want to keep it at a medium load. You can see mine, I'm a heavy load at the minute, but that's because of that. But you want to keep it at medium load. So yeah, whatever you can do, do that. In regards to talismans, we're using a uh, Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. Enormously boosts physical damage and negation. Works wonders with this kind of build. We're also using this right here, the Great Shield Talisman. Boosts guarding ability. Amazing, guys. You probably know what's going on here. We then have the Fire Scorpion Charm. Raises fire attack, but lowers damage and negation. Awesome. Don't have to worry about the damage negation, guys, because obviously we're blocking all the time. And we also have the Morica Sorcerer. Greatly raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. So yes, guys, it really is that simple. And that is what we are doing. Now, I'll actually go up to a bigger enemy here so I can showcase you better what's actually happening here. So quickly cut the video and I'm back in a quick second. Okay, so I'm up here. There's a couple of big heating up guys up here. So if I apply all these buffs, so let me just uh, blood flame my blade. Uh, I'll use my flame grant me strength. You don't have to do all this, like I said. They're just options to make things more powerful. Then I will use my booster, my flask. Then I will just obviously activate that. Drink my, I drank my flask already, what am I doing? Look on this guy here, guys, you'll watch this. I can just block and you'll notice, watch his health. Boom, blood loss. Now if I want to, I could just pike him at the same time. Kill him much, much quicker. But you don't, actually don't have to pike him. You can just stand in front of them and just do mass amounts of damage. It is utterly crazy, guys. And that is basically it. Uh, take this into PvP. Brutal. Brutal. I, don't, I can't imagine how this would ruin PvP for many people. But yeah, like I said, it is really, guys, that simple. Now, you can change things about on this, make it even better. There's probably many, many ways you can do this. I would recommend your shield being uh, at least a level 24 as well. As with every build, guys, you want everything as leveled up as much as you can. The actual harpoon I'm using here, the, the spear, you want something with uh, outer ash war on it. So things that don't already have a weapon skill built into them, you won't be able to use with this. And you want a weapon without a ash war on it, like this one right here. But there's quite a few you can find, guys, uh, these spears. They're all over the place, but I'll put a guide to this one in the video description. This one, you'll find a guide to this in the video description too. Uh, but you can really use any seal, to be honest. This one just boosts Soul's Flame Incantation, so it just works with this. Uh, and in regards to these as well, guys, you'll find guys to what I've covered already linked below. If they're not my guys, they'll be somebody else's. Simple as that. Now, enjoy the build. If you do, leave a like, it really helps out. Tell me your thoughts on it down below, and hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.